Do you currently rely on one single source of income? What if you suddenly lost your job? In these very uncertain times, we hear regularly about large companies downsizing and laying off hundreds or even thousands of employees. How stressful would your life become if you were suddenly unemployed tomorrow? How long could you afford to live your current lifestyle? Would you have to vacate or sell your home? Does the thought of losing your sole source of income strike fear deep within you? What if you could have a backup, or better yet, multiple backup sources or streams of income? How much better would you sleep knowing you had multiple income streams? Welcome to the Multiple Streams of Income podcast. Listen and explore the very real possibility of creating multiple streams of income of your very own. Now, here's your host, David Doggett. Thanks, Joe. And before I get this podcast officially kicked off, the very first thing I'd like to do is do a shout out to Joe. Joe being the guy who just did that intro, and he'll be doing the same intro on many of the podcasts, as well as some commercials and advertisements and that kind of thing. Joe, thanks so much for uh, for teaming up with me and uh, and understanding the vision of this podcast. And for anyone who's looking for a fantastic voiceover artist, whether it's for video, radio, TV, you name it, you can find Joe just by going to msipodcast.com slash Joe. That's www.msipodcast.com slash Joe. That's J-O-E. And you'll find Joe. That'll redirect you to Joe's website, and you can connect with Joe and get your voice project started from there. Fantastic guy, great voice, great pricing. Let him know where you found him on the Multiple Streams of Income podcast. So this is the Multiple Streams of Income podcast. I'm so excited to be kicking this show off finally. It's been something I've been thinking about doing for over two years now. And I just finally said, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to make this happen. I have so many very valuable contacts that I just wanted to connect with and share their stories with everyone else and just build up this massive wealth of information for everybody to take in. And that's what I've done. And for those of you who don't know, my name is David Doggett. I don't claim to be any expert podcaster, although I am learning as I go and I'm enjoying it more as I continue. I've been in the web slash video development industry since around 1998 and my specialty by far is video animation infomercials um, essentially very hyped up powerpoint style presentations but these things rival tv infomercials and in fact can be used on tv but that was kind of the niche that i fell into and uh it, it just just how it worked out um so I'll give you the very short version of how I became in this position uh, during my web and video development process. I did a presentation for one client in the early days, and that that video just happened to go viral, which then led to another project and another project and another project. And every project I found almost everyone the people or the client behind it had a very fascinating story and a, a wealth of information on online marketing, offline marketing. Just their stories were so unique that it took me a while, but after a while I decided, you know, it would be fantastic to be able to package these stories up and share them with the world. And of course, over the last six, eight years, podcasting has become more mainstream and I've been following it as it goes, um, and I decide, you know what? Now is the time. Let's do this thing. Let's let's package all of this information together. Get it out there. But there's just so many people who have so much experience that would be of value to anyone else looking to create multiple streams of income, or even if you already do have multiple streams of income, maybe you're you're looking for some new streams to create. This is going to be the show for you now. It's also the show for somebody 
who may be in that full-time job. They feel run down. They're not sure, you know, exactly what their purpose is, where they're going to go. Maybe you're running into financial difficulties, but the whole idea of this show is to expose you to what others are doing successfully in creating multiple streams of income. That could be multiple streams of income that they live off all the time, or it could be various different streams of income that they've started and gone from one to the other to the other. But there's just so much information that the best way possible for me to share this with you is to get these people on the line and share their stories. Ask them a few questions and just kind of roll with it from there. So at least at this point, the podcast is going to be very laid back, not too formal. Uh, We're just kind of going to connect with these people, find their story, and see if you can take some valuable information from it from there. So one of the things that I'm going to be doing throughout these episodes is promoting affiliate links, partnering companies, products, services, basically things that I've used myself and or are interested in sponsoring these episodes. So I'm going to kick off the very first episode of of the Multiple Streams of Income podcast by promoting the email list slash newsletter autoresponder service that I personally use myself, and it's called Get Response. Now, I've been using Get Response for quite some time now, and I have used many other ones over the years. There are other great ones out there. Personally, out of the ones that I have used myself, I find Get Response to be the most user friendly, and you can get a 30 day risk free trial of Get Response, no credit card required. Just go to msipodcast.com slash get response. Also, they happen to have a fantastic affiliate program. And affiliate programs is going to be one of the many things that we talk about on this show for creating an additional source of income. So this is how I'm going to initially attempt to keep this show going and sponsor the show is through affiliate links. And I'll explain that whole process as we go. But essentially, an affiliate link is just a link that when used is connected to someone else's account within that company. So in this case, it will be my account or through the multiple streams of income. So that if you use that link and you go and buy a product or service from that company, I will in return receive some form of commission for telling you about that. So it's it's a very non-invasive way of advertising and creating income and it's one of the many things that you're going to hear time and time again on this show but in this case get response just go to msipodcast.com slash get response all together g-e-t-r-e-s-p-o-n-s-e so msipodcast.com slash get response and that will take you right to the affiliate link connected with providing the show with some credit for referring you to that service. Again, Get Response, a fantastic email marketing newsletter, autoresponder service. Um, check it out, and uh, you too can become an affiliate as well. So, so the person I decided to connect to on the very first episode of the Multiple Streams of Income podcast is a very longtime client of mine slash friend, and his name is Darren Godry. And Darren lives way down under, and that would be in Australia. I connected back with Darren in the early to mid 2000s, and uh, we've been in touch ever since. He's been a very inspirational source for myself personally uh, to branch out and explore multiple streams of income. Because as a client of mine, I got to see how he kind of evolved and created incredible income streams of his own. And that was very inspirational for me. So without further ado, I'm going to connect up with Darren and uh, we'll get him on here. And hopefully you'll uh, you'll find this very informative and entertaining. Thanks. And uh, let's get Darren on the line. 
Hey, Darren. Thanks for joining me on uh, on this podcast episode, The Multiple Streams of Income. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic, as usual. Always, always good when you live by the beach. Yeah, so you're you're in uh, Australia, always have been, as long as I've known you. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually in uh, Coolum Beach, which is in, uh, it's about 100 kilometers. Now, I don't know if you guys talk kilometers out there. Some people in the world talk miles, but about 100 kilometers north of uh, Brisbane in the uh, sunshine coast of Queensland. Nice. Yeah, I actually, uh, I, here in Canada, we do talk kilometers, but a lot of the listeners are probably going to be in the in the U.S. And So, yeah, D- Darren, you and I go, w- I guess, way back as far as, internet uh life goes i I know we go back as far as 2006 when uh i believe i i i think you found me somehow and i and my uh my video uh, development process and um i think the first project i remember working on with you was called passport to wealth and is that correct Actually, yeah, I think it would have been Passport to Wealth. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that, I think around about 2006, we started working on the concept of Passport to Wealth. Right. Uh, and I got in contact with you because I was looking for, I think I was looking at, actually, I asked around, I said, look, I'm looking for the best in the industry to do a video. And mm-hmm. uh, I think your name was mentioned about three different times. So uh, as a result, I, I did get in contact with you. And uh, we've been talking ever since. Yeah, I mean, uh, you've kind of, you've you and, and I mean, you fit so well with, the theme of this show um, that I decided to start because, you know, you have literally made a living off of multiple streams of income. So when I, when I was considering starting this, this, uh, this podcast, you were definitely uh, one of the first ones that jumped into my head. And uh, so, you know, maybe just tell a little bit about uh, how you got involved with, you know, your, your first, uh, online marketing, uh, if that was your first uh, income stream, and uh, and kind of where things went from there. Yeah, sure. Uh, but if I was to give myself a title uh, these days, a lot of people actually say, what do you actually do? You know, a lot of <laughs> yeah. people see me, they see me hanging around the, the yard at home. I'm, I, don't go to, I don't go to a regular job. Um, so I would actually give myself the title of, uh, of a marketer, really. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, internet marketing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of successes online, um, but I've also had my fair share of failures too. I mean, you can't expect to go into something and be successful 100% of the time. You're, you're, going to, you're going to fail and you're going to succeed. But I think really what makes it uh, success is to continue pushing on. I mean, and I attribute a lot of my uh, successes to timing in the market, um, seeing a hole in the market and actually filling that hole. And that is, uh, that's where I've sort of, I suppose, capitalised by seeing those holes in the market with different opportunities and uh, and filling them, uh, but I've also had uh, you know some failures. Like I said, have had my share, a fair share of failures, and uh, I probably attribute those to poor choices and uh, and choosing to probably align myself with the wrong people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that that makes total sense. I know. Uh, well, I know for sure. I've heard about your successes, um, and uh, and yeah, I, I would agree. You know, if somebody's watch, or, you know, following you on uh, social media, um, you know, we see things like, uh, you, you know, your house on the beach, and you know, maybe a car or something like that. I know I've seen you go through um, various activities, like uh, you know, driving across the country there, as well as you know, getting into gold prospecting. I, actually, I, I I took an interest in that around. The same time you were getting into it heavily, although I think you were finding more gold than I was. But uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, I found nine ounces. I remember. I think I sent you some photos and said, "Look at this! It's nine ounces of gold." Yeah, you did, and uh, it put my put my uh, five flakes that I found one day to shame. But <laughs> but uh, but you know the concept. I think the concept of multiple streams of income. Um, you know, would you say that fits you to a T or? Do you, you know, do you, do you make a living off of multiple streams at, at one given time or are you more of a multiple streams over a period of, of years? I suppose in all fairness, what I need to do is, is probably go back a little bit. I mean, mm-hmm. um, I, uh, I, I didn't really fit uh, in the school uh, system. 
So I actually left school around about the age of 14. Um, it, I just didn't fit into the system there. And, you know, I didn't, and p- the teachers basically said, you know, what are you doing here? You're wasting your time. And, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. I, I, it's only today I actually understand why I didn't fit into the school system. It, uh, it was only been recent that I've actually been discovered to have Asperger's syndrome, uh, which is actually something I share with someone quite famous by the name of Steve Jobs, who unfortunately is no longer with us, but um, you know, he actually had it as well, and he went on to become one of the uh, most successful men in the world. So, uh, you know, so really when I left school at the age of 14, um, I, you know, I was very entrepreneurial. Um, I had, you know, everything from lawn mowing businesses going, and, uh, you know, it, it, it just it, it's never really stopped. I mean, uh, I was forever looking for a, a way of making money. Um, but then, you know, as I got older, um, I actually started to uh, look at ways of making money. Now, the Internet wasn't around then. So I got into a thing called uh, direct mail uh, or you know, some people would call it mail order. So mail, the mail order business was actually, uh, it was sort of like my first real intro into um, into making money, into serious money. I mean, I, I got into uh, creating my own how-to products and license rights and I created DVDs and books and, and stuff like that. So that was really my first uh, intro into to making really, really good money. Um, you know, I mean, you could create a product um, for a few bucks and, and sell it from anywhere from the $97 up to, I think, $5,000 I used to get for some of my info products. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, then I suppose as time went on, um, you know, around about 1996, uh, rolled around and, um, you know, I was actually over in the U.S. on a, on a holiday. I was on one of those working – actually, I went to Canada, to tell you the truth. Okay. I, I, yeah, I, I went up to uh, – to uh, British Columbia, Vancouver, and was staying out on one of those working holidays. So I had a working visa, and while I was there, I actually went down to spend some time with some friends in the in the uh, U.S. down at um, Centralia, just out of Olympia, actually. So I crossed the border, went down there, and I spent a bit of time with them. And they were actually friends of uh, the family back here in Australia. And to cut a long story short, they had a, a computer in the room that I was staying in uh, at the at the house there, and. Um, they had this thing called the internet, and I'd never <laughs> heard of the internet, man. I thought, what's this internet thing? So they actually booted it up and got me on there. And you know, I spent two days straight, and I felt kind of rude actually when I spent two days straight um, on their computer on the internet. And it was just like, you know, a, a, a light went off in my head. I thought, wow, uh, my entrepreneurial eyes just lit up. I mm. thought, there's got to be money in this. So, um, you know, I spent a bit of time there. And, uh, and then, anyway, I ended up returning back to Australia after my trip. Went off to do a Camp Counselor USA thing where I was a camp counselor, one of the summer camps and that. Returned back to Australia and to cut a long story short, the first thing I did when I got home was bought myself a computer. <laughs> I bought myself a computer and bought myself a dial-up modem. If you remember the old dial-up modems. Oh, <laughs> oh I sure do. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I can still hear that sound today. <laughs> and we had, it would take us it'd take us you know three minutes just to load a page. But anyway, sure. it got it got faster as time went on. But um Yeah, so I mean, um from there I actually I just started looking around online and, and learning. I spent probably two years unemployed. Um, you know, not really I was I was on the unemployment benefits um uh, because I, you know, I left school early. I had to, I had no real qualifications, and mm-hmm. you know I was always entrepreneurial. But there's only so much you could do, um, you know, to to make a living. So I got online, spent two years, and I never made a dime for two years on the internet, not a single cent, um, you know. But then I discovered a guy by the name of Corey Rudel. Now, if anybody's been around internet marketing for any length of time, I mean, I started in 1996. Uh, and they would know the name Corey Rudel. He was like the godfather of uh, of internet marketing. Unfortunately, he was k- sadly killed, um, you know, a number of years back in a, in a you know as a result of driving a car very fast on a racetrack, mm. and he had the money to be able to do those sort of things. So mm-hmm. we lost him. But I actually started out as an affiliate marketer for Corey, um, you know, and he would he would sell different products, um, digital products that he created himself, and he would pay a commission. So I got right into what they call affiliate marketing. And, um, you know, I think affiliate marketing has got to be definitely one of the ways still, one of my mainstays of earning income online because you can actually do it quite passively if you do it properly. 
So, uh, keep going on there a bit further. Uh, a company by the name of ClickBank actually started. Uh, I'm sure everybody, if they're in any internet marketing niche or anything, they've heard of ClickBank. I mean, you would have heard of them, I'm sure, Dave. Oh, yes. Yeah, very familiar with ClickBank. <laughs> uh, ClickBank was kind of like the, uh, it was the mainstay for me for a long time. I mean, uh, I started not only promoting uh, digital products that uh, that other people would put up, but I started creating my own products. And um, But yeah, it's still to this day, I think um, affiliate marketing would definitely be one of my mainstays. Now, if you're not sure, so there might be a few newbies on, online here, so I might just quickly give a, a quick brief rundown as to what affiliate marketing is. Yeah, sure, affiliate, go ahead. Yeah, sure, thanks. Affiliate marketing is actually um, a relationship between someone that created a product and someone that uh, markets a product. So if I create a product and I put it out there in the marketplace and I say, hey, I'm going to pay you 50% for every person that you send to buy my product, then that's the relationship of an affiliate market and the product creator. And you would earn a 50% commission on something you had nothing to do with, you never created it. And it's a real, it's a, it's a simple way of getting into internet marketing without actually having to build a website, create a product, uh, write a sales letter, um, all these hard things that are actually quite difficult to do. Dave, I've kind of, I've probably kind of taken over your show here. Is there anything you wanted to ask me or any other questions? No, no worries. Um, uh, that's all great stuff. And yeah, definitely anyone listening should be paying attention to, uh, to things like affiliate marketing. I know it's, it, I know it's, it's gone from, from being almost a secret back in the day when, when you got involved with it to, you know, almost a mainstay now, uh, to where some people, you know, may not really understand how they can take part in it, you know, and compete with everybody else. But maybe we can get into that another time. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, a question that I would have for you and, uh, and probably future guests is, um, you know, if you could, if you give yourself advice from 10 years ago, like if you could see your, go back and talk to yourself, uh, 10 years less than what you are right now, you know, what kind of advice would you give? If I could give myself advice, probably, you know, one thing I would have done, Dave, and, and being truthful is, you know, I spent a lot of time, uh, working, you know, hours upon hours. I used to work 18 plus hours a day. Um, and if I could give myself advice from 10 years ago, it would probably be to work smarter like I do today than work hard. I used to work 18 plus hours a day and I would spend very, very little time with my children uh, and my wife. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I wish that I suppose years ago had, a, I mean, and, and look, hey, it's paid off today. I mean, I live a very, very good life today. I've, I've now got systems in place that allow me to earn passive income through affiliate marketing and various different other ways. Uh, of earning online, uh, so it is very passive. But if if I could have applied those principles uh, back ten years ago, I think it would have been a lot better for me. And that's just something that I've had to I've had to deal with. I suppose I, did, I missed out on a lot of my children's um, time growing up. So try uh, my my advice to anyone's out there: try and work smart. You know, you've got to work hard to a certain extent, but try and work smart and hard. Or just try and work smart. It's probably <laughs> my advice. No, that's that's great advice for sure. And I mean. Um, you, you've definitely been fortunate in that you, you did invest a lot of time, uh, over the years and, and it's, it, you know, it, it definitely appears to have paid off. And, you know, I think that's something that everyone can, can keep in mind, you know, in this day and age, there's a lot of people out there that think, you know, all I need to do, is, you know, it's very easy to get online and make a bunch of money and they'll quickly realize that it's just like any other business, uh, you know, in a, you know a brick and mortar business, um, you know you need to work hard before you start to to see the benefits. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there probably listening that are thinking, you know, hey, maybe I can get online and make a bunch of money, you know, real quick and easy. And that's just not the case. I mean, even in your example, you, we're talking back to 1996, which is almost 20 years ago. Um, about 18, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 you know, you were, you've invested years of, of your life to get to the point that you're at now. I mean, without getting into too much detail, can you, can you kind of explain 
the multiple streams of income that you have. Um, and like I say, without, you know, going in any kind of crazy detail, but, um, you know, you, you've got systems in place. So is it primarily affiliate marketing to this day? Uh, look, like, like I said, I, I mean, I have had my, I have actually owned a fair few online businesses as well as affiliate marketing. I mean, um, like you said, we talked about earlier, Passport to Wealth. Um, I was involved with another company called My Internet Business, but actually became Your Net Biz. Unfortunately, I had to bow out of that one. My father had passed away mm. uh, around about the launch time of that. So it, it just something that just didn't work out. So I'd moved on from that. But really, my favorite thing, and, and I've got to say, is because, you know, I have a system now to actually manage it, uh, is, is really, I suppose, selling other people's products, affiliate marketing. Mm -hmm. And it has been something that I've enjoyed because it was something I did at the start. It's been with me right through my years of being online. Like I said, I have had other businesses and they're a lot of work. There's a lot. It's a lot easier to work online as an affiliate marketer, marketing somebody else's product, letting them deal with the headaches of customer service, letting them deal with refunds and mm -hmm. and. and servers and breakdowns and, and you just you just do what you're good at and market. So really I would say these days, yes, affiliate marketing is. I mean I've I mean there's companies out there like uh, like Aweber and and hosting companies. I mean I'm not just an affiliate marketer for the the home business interest industry, but just rent regular services out there like you know, uh, website hosting um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. list, and you know, I'm an Aweber uh, affiliate as well. I mean, just there's just, I mean, I could give you a list of you know, a mile long of different, but I get multiple streams. I mean, every week I've got checks arriving in the mail, I've got deposits going to my bank account, um, I'm receiving, you know, funds coming in from all directions as a result of marketing other people's products and getting not just paid once, but paid over and over again, especially mm. if you've got something that's got a recurring passive income, a residual income. I mean, that's my preference these days. I like something that's either high ticket, where I'm going to make a big chunk up front, mm -hmm. or something that's going to pay me ongoing. Actually, right, I've got, I'm just looking here right now. You can probably hear it. That's actually a check I just got yesterday from Aweber. <laughs> um, nice, nice. It's, it's, yeah, and I get these all the time. So mm -hmm. Sure. So, yeah. To, to answer your question, yeah, really, uh, affiliate marketing and, and marketing other people's products is where a lot of my MSI comes from. Mm -hmm. Awesome, that that's that's you know truly incredible, especially the fact that you know obviously we can't see you, but I do believe you do have a check there, and uh, and you know that. So, you know, would you say that you know your leverage that you've got in place really boils down to a list of contacts that have opted in to receive information from you over the years? Yep. Yeah, I, I have. And, and that's probably one of the key things. Uh, when you start online, the one thing you want to start doing is building your list. I mean, my list is now around about uh, 512,000 at last look. But you know that list didn't that I didn't build that list overnight. It's taken a long time. Mm -hmm. Those those people have come from various different offers. Um, they've come from you know right back to. I mean, I started in the early days. I used to do classified ads, driving people from offline to my online websites. So these 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 the list was built for you know, and um, you know from a lot of different ways of you know bringing people in. But yeah, awesome. having a list is probably one of the best things to do. Yeah, no question. I mean, you know, because ultimately, once you have your list of contacts and you can grow that list, you've, you know, you can literally pitch any opportunity, any, uh, any program. Uh, you know, of course, you need to be confident in that, you know, in that offering yourself. But, uh, you know, I, I, I specifically remember something that you told me, I think it was as far back as 2006, 2007 around that period where, you know, you said, and, and it, it, it resonates with me to this day. And I remember you saying, when, when I send out the email, it's like turning on the tap. And, and you, you basically said, you know, it's like turning on a tap of, of income because, you know, certain number of people, you know, that receive your, uh, your messages and your emails um, are going to want what you're offering and, you know, and then boom, you know, the checks start showing up and the, the transactions start happening. And I've never forgotten that. 
I, fortunately, I have been able to, you know, create a few streams of income myself and, and, a, and a couple of them being, you know, affiliate income related. But, um, you know, for the most part, I've been focused on, on video development and, uh, and I'm, I'm diversifying a little bit these days, but, um, so that, I mean, that brings us up to, um, uh, the point where I would say, you know, do you have a specific philosophy for life that, that you live by? <laughs> I have a lot of philosophies, I suppose, if you want to call them that, mm. but, um, actually there is one thing I'm really well known for, uh, for pitching and it, it's something I live by. And I actually, I, I, uh, it's, it, I include this in a lot of my movies, in my promos, and it's because it's what I believe. I mean, and if you want, would you like me to spill it off? Yeah, yeah, you? yeah. Please do, please do. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. Well, one of the things I like to say is, do you want to spend every day waking up to the sound of an annoying alarm clock, only to get dressed in clothes that you have to buy to go to work, driving through morning traffic in a car you're still paying for, only to get to a dead end job you need so you can pay for your clothes? pay for your car, and pay for the beautiful home you have to leave empty all day in order to afford to live in it. Absolutely. I mean, that... Is that it, sum it up or what? It, it, it truly does, because that is what the bulk of the people on this planet strive for. I mean, that is... Every that, day. Every day. That's what, that's what, you know, probably most of the people listening to this episode are probably thinking, that is me. So uh, I actually have what they call a, a DYO life philosophy. Mm -hmm. If you want to use the word philosophy, I mean, um, a DYO, li DYO life meaning design your own life. Okay, you know, that's and that's what I that's what I live by today is to design your own life because you know you're dead a long time and life. I mean, it, I was <laughs> just saying to my wife the other day, um, it feels like just yesterday that I was I was 25. You know, it really does feel like yesterday, and it goes that fast. And you want to spend the rest of your life working. So that you can have maybe ten years of retirement? No, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> no. It it it's really very scary and sad when you when you really strip it down and look at it. Um, but you know, thankfully, there's inspirations such as what you've you've shared with us today. Uh, you know, it can be done. You don't need uh, some you know fancy degree in order to do that. And I've always. Uh, you know, I, you know, of course I, you know, if my kids want to go to university, I'm all, I'm behind them for that. But, you know, you do not necessarily need some, uh, you know, high level of education to achieve, you know, what other people would only dream of. That's right. So, yep. um, so is there any, you know, any successful tool or anything that stands out in your mind, um, you know, I mean, I guess we already talked about one of those things being, you know, an email list and, and, uh, you know, I'll probably go dive into more about how people can create their own list later, but, you know, other than, you know, maybe an email list, is there something that stands out? Maybe just a, a method that you have. I mean, when you get up in the morning, um, when you were building your, uh, success, was there a certain format that you, uh, that you undertook every day that you think led to your success or, or something along those lines? I would say um, you make every um, make every moment count mm -hmm. when it comes to business. You, I mean, what you got to do is plan, 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 really. I mean, the old saying as it goes, I mean, and, and everybody knows this saying, I'm sure of it. The old saying that goes, if you, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Mm -hmm. And this is so true. I mean, if you, if you don't plan, then you're going to fall on your face. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it's just inevitable. And I believe me, I have put this theory to the test and proven it works. I have, I have not planned in certain circumstances and situations and have fallen on my face. So now I go back to, I map every little project I'm going to do out on a word doc. I step it all out and everything has to be done in order. And I suppose that's cool. Probably part of my uh, my condition of Asperger's. I'm so now particular and meticulous about how it all works, and uh, and you'll know too, Dave, when you work with me on video how fussy I am <laughs> when we're doing a video. I'm I'm a nightmare to deal with. But, you know, <laughs> I want the best. Yeah. No. I mean, you know, I I can relate. Yeah. You know, I do recall, um, you know, how that you were very particular with what you wanted, but 
you know, you were the customer. You got what you wanted. You you Absolutely. had you had a vision in in your mind, and and that is how you wanted it to be. You didn't want it to be a different way. So, no, that was uh, you know, you were definitely one of my earlier clients, and you helped me, you know, learn how to you know what to anticipate with other uh, videos being produced and and whatnot. So. No, uh, no, no apology needed there. Absolutely not. So for, for those listening who may want to, uh, you know, reach out to you, uh, follow what you're doing and, and get in touch. Is there one particular, uh, website or, you know, how would you prefer people to connect with you online? I mean, probably the, uh, I mean, as I said to you earlier, I, I follow a DYO life philosophy, meaning design your own life. And I've actually just launched a website to the effect of that. And that's funnily enough is dyolife.com. That's D Y O life.com. And, um, yeah, if you, you can go and check that out, there's a little video on there, me talking and that, and giving you a bit of a spiel and that. But you know, it, it when I when you see a video like that from me, it's it's from the heart. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. what I say on those videos, I mean. And if you've heard me here today, you know, with that spiel I gave off to you about waking up early to the sound of an annoying alarm clock, that's that's basically what you'll hear from me on that website. There is because it's what I believe. But yeah, you can have a look at a few of the things I'm doing right now. I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually right now dedicating a lot more of my time to helping people follow in my footsteps. See, I've, uh, I've, I wouldn't, I, I don't believe anyone ever makes it. You never actually make it because if you make it, then you've got nowhere to go further on to. So mm-hmm. you're always moving forward. I mean, but I'm, I'm actually trying to now help people get to where I am. I suppose get themselves from where they are to where they really want to be. And if they want to go and visit that website, then um, and have a look at that video. Um, yeah, then I may be able to assist them a little bit further there too because that's my goal today is to be able to help people. Um, I suppose come to join me up here at the top. It's fun. Awesome. It's fun. Well, it sounds good, and uh, I'll absolutely uh, put that link in the show notes for this episode. Uh, so anybody listening, they can just go to uh, msipodcast.com and, and search up uh, Darren Godry. And Darren, thanks for uh, taking the time out of your day on the other side of the planet to uh, to join me. Um, you know, no no question, I'll have you back if you're willing on a future episode, and we can kind of follow up and see what's been going on. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you, Dave, for taking the time to uh, to put this show together. I think it's something that people definitely need to uh, to plug into. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fine guests on here, and I definitely will be one of those uh, listeners myself. Awesome, Darren. Well, you have yourself a great day, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you, sir. All right, bye-bye. A big thank you to Darren for taking time out of his day to be the very first guest on the Multiple Streams of Income podcast. So this was episode one. If you want to catch the show notes for this episode, you just go to msipodcast.com slash 001. And uh, that wraps this one up. Thank you so much for listening. I would ask, even though this is just the first episode, if you enjoyed it, you think you're going to keep listening to this series, please take a second. And if you're listening by iTunes, you can rate the show and leave a review. That would be absolutely fantastic. Also, you can like our Facebook fan page. You can find the links to all our social networks directly on the website msipodcast.com. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Multiple Streams of Income podcast with David Doggett. For more information on this and other episodes, please visit msipodcast.com.